led investigation. This is according to a letter released by the First Circuit solicitor who analyzed findings from state agents. 7 News reporter Ayla Farone standing by now to explain Ayla the solicitor's reasoning here. Well, in this letter, First Circuit solicitor David Pasco says there is not sufficient evidence for criminal charges against Greenville Police Chief Ken Miller. He did, however, say that the details were troubling, concerning, and that Miller has shown questionable judgment. The letter saying there is not enough evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to bring criminal charges against Greenville Police Chief Ken Miller. But it doesn't mean that there isn't some sort of uh, bad behavior. Attorney John Reckenbeal is not involved in the case, but says the letter speaks for itself. He says on a legal level, it seems as though Miller did nothing wrong. There is a very clear understanding that in order for you to have misconduct in office, you have to have a real corrupt intent. The letter details three incidents where Miller was accused of official misconduct. This including alleged preferential treatment given to a man who donated to the Greenville Police Foundation and then was let off on a charge of public intoxication. Even though it was dismissed via, you know, inappropriate police action, um, the ultimate result of the fact that it would have been dismissed with the judge, I think, gave them the benefit. The city releasing a statement saying they have not yet seen the letter and, quote, until that happens and we have the opportunity to review and evaluate the information, we will be unable to comment further at this time. Reckonbeal says as far as trust from the community, the letter means something different. He says it shows that if you're a contributor to the police foundation, then you're above the law. That's where it really clearly comes down to as being very disturbing. He says the fact that the solicitor used words like troubling and concerning to describe Miller's actions is telling. I just think that this obviously goes to a, a bigger issue, is that if you're willing to do this, then what else are you willing to do? Now, also within this letter, it says that Miller provided false statements to SLED during that investigation, but the solicitor does explain that here in South Carolina, that is not a crime. I also did reach out to the Greenville Police Foundation for a comment and did not hear back. I'm live in studio, Ayla Farone, 7 News.